Hello, uh, you are most welcome again to our English language session. Uh, and now we proceed with unit three, that is a trip to Mount Kilimanjaro. I think everybody knows about a Mount Kilimanjaro. So we have a Mount Kilimanjaro, Tanzania. Uh, feel proud with that, with that, uh, that nat uh, natural natural feature that is the Mount Kilimanjaro. So as a, as a, as a, as a usual, uh, and, uh, in, this, in this unit, until we learn, we have to be able to learn how to read and answer, answer questions on a passage about a trip to Mount Kilimanjaro. Then we have to pronounce and use vocabulary found in the passage. Then after we have to express past activities and actions and compile, compare things as well as ask and answer questions on your past actions and make positive and negative questions in the past as well as to write a short paragraph. So you are, you are, you are most welcome so that we will we'll be together in this trip to Mount Kilimanjaro. So here we have to prepare now the journey or trip to Mount Kilimanjaro. So now welcome to read uh, the passage carefully and answer the questions that will fall. Uh, so our passage starts with Mr. Josa, the geography teacher from Tumaini Primary School in Karato District, had a plan. I repeat, Mr. Josa, the geography teacher from Tumaini Primary School in Karato District, had a plan. On a Friday afternoon, he entered the Standard 7 classroom. Then, good afternoon, Standard 7. He greeted the pupils. All the pupils stood up and replied, Good afternoon, sir. Have you heard anything about Mount Kilimanjaro? Asked Mr. Josa. So then after Mr. Josa asks to his pupils, Have you heard anything about Mount Kilimanjaro? Then some pupils raised their hands and answer the question. Mr. Josa pointed to Hada. Yes, sir. It is in northern Tanzania, she answered. Good, said Mr. Josa. What else do you know about Mount Kilimanjaro? A girl in the left corner stood up and said, it is snow cap or it has a snow cap at the top. Correct, Mr. Josa said. Then he proceeded. How many of you would like to climb Mount Kilimanjaro during the holidays? Asked Mr. Josa. The whole class raised their hands. Then Mr. Josa said, that is very good. But you will need money for transport, food and fees. Will you also need money to buy boats? A backpack and a warm clothes, explained Mr. Josta. As the pupils were listening carefully, as the pupils listened carefully, do you understand? asked Mr. Josta. Yes, sir, we do, they replied. So then the pupils replied together, Yes, sir. Then how much money is needed? Is needed, sir? Asked Helena. So one of the people then asked to Mr. Josa, how much money is needed? And then Mr. Josa said, it will, it will be 15,000. Then I will give you letters about the trip to take to your parents, the teacher said. Wow. Uh, then the following week, Mr. Josa went to Standard 7 classroom again. What did the, did the parent say? He asked. 
One people stood up and said, My parents will pay. Another people stood up and said, My parents will pay. Almost all the peoples had the same reply. Fine, you should pay the money within one month. Then I will arrange for, for the trip, said Mr. Joseph. All the standard seven peoples paid the money before the end of the month. They also started to do physical exercises. The physical education teacher told them that they need physical exercises. The exercise would help uh, to make them fit before climbing the mountain. Finally, the day of the trip arrived. Furaha Bas reported at the school at 6 o'clock a.m. The pupils were at the school compound with their luggage ready to board the bus. The physical education teacher, Mr. Marina, I mean Miss Marina and Mr. Josa, the geography teacher, joined the pupils on the trip. That's good. On the way from Karatu, they crossed the Manyara National Park and saw Lake Manyara. They also saw many birds, especially flamingos and animals such as elephant, buffaloes, zebras, antelopes, monkeys, barbons, lions, and many others. The teachers had cameras, so they, look, they took photographs of the lake and the animals. As you can see, there are bus here. So this is their bus and the lake is this one and these are different animals. So and this is their bus. The pupils are inside with their teacher and the teacher takes for camera or takes for video. So at 12 o'clock noon, the bus arrived in Arusha. The pupils were taken to Arusha school for lunch. There was plenty of food and it was delicious. And at 2 o'clock p.m., they left Arusha for Mosh. They arrived in Mosh at 4 o'clock p.m. After a short rest, they left Mosh for Marangu at 4 a half p.m. They arrived at Marangu at five a half p.m. Marangu is near the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro. The pupils could see the top of Mount Kilimanjaro clearly from Marangu. Both the pupils and their teachers spent two days at Marangu Teachers College to do more physical exercises. After that, they drove to Kilimanjaro National Park office ready to climb the mountain as we can see them so here they are these these are their teachers and these are those people so we can see here they are, they are ready to climb the mountain and At the gate, they met the tour guide. He briefed them about the journey to the, top of, to the top of the mount. He said, Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa. It is 19,341 feet above the sea level. It is covered with the snow at the top. It is very cold, so you should make sure that uh, you have warm clothes and enough food to eat on the way. Tourists from all over the world like to climb the mountain. We protect Mount Kilimanjaro because the government makes more money, uh, 5 million US dollars from foreign tourists every year. How much do you make from local tourists? Asked Hazina. We make about 10 million shillings every year from local tourists, replied the tour guide. So as uh, we can see, 
the mount uh, makes a lot of money, more money for the government. That's why uh, they protect it so much. So the teachers and pupils thanked the tour guide and the journey started. The journey to the peak was difficult. Only 25 pupils and the teachers reached the top. The other pupils and at Mandara Hut. They waited there until their teachers and their friends returned. The climbers felt very tired. They climbed down together to the main gate. Their bus was there ready to start the return journey. Those who failed to reach the top felt unhappy. To others who succeed in reaching the top were very happy. Uh, but myself as a teacher, I could reach to the top of a mountain. And even you, my pupils, who make fall up or who fall up our lesson, I think you could also uh, reach the top at the top of the mountain. So then you have the task that we have to make or we have to conduct. So uh, we have to look for answers from the story to complete the sentences. Question 1. Mr. Joseph's plan was to prepare a dash for standard 7 pupils. All the pupils agreed to pay how many or how much shillings. Mention any three animals that standard 7 pupils saw on their way. So I have to mention those animals. Number 4. What did the pupils and the teachers do at Yarusha school? So you have to answer it this way. The pupils and teachers had dash. What time did they arrive in Imoshi? They arrived in Imoshi at it. So I have to answer it this way. So any other questions? Then our activity two, it is speaking practice. So we have to read the following sentences aloud. Uh, firstly, or oh, sentence one, Mount Kilimanjaro is in northern Tanzania. Number two, is Mount Kilimanjaro in northern Tanzania? Number three, where is Mount Kilimanjaro located? Number four, Marang is at the foot of Mount e. Kilimanjaro. Number five, is Marangu at the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro? Number six, where is Marangu located? Number seven, they ate lunch at Arusha school. Number eight, did they eat lunch at Arusha school? Number nine, where did they eat lunch? So then after, we have to write the opposite of the following words. Stand up, short, climb up, local tourist, cold, highest, arrive, top. Then after, we have to change the following words into plural. We have tourist, flamingo, zebra, pupil, buffalo, Luggage, bus, ice, water, land. So you have to write these words or those words in Prolo. Then you have to write the following words in uh, numbers in words. So this number, it's words, number, words, 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 as well as this, this column. So then you have to read and write uh, six correct sentences from the table. Kilimanjaro, for example, Kilimanjaro is the coldest mountain in Tanzania. Kilimanjaro is whatever, whatever. So you take this part and this, this, then you, 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 you make with this, then you get 
the whole sentence. And then read and write six questions from the table. As we, we see, our question is started with auxiliary. Is Kilimanjaro the coldest mountain in Tanzania? In this way. Uh, other exercise we have to we have to write we have to write whether a sentence or statement is true or false as example is here or this is our example and this exercise is derived from the from the above table so we have to study the table below about animals and then you have to write whether the statement are true or false so here we have animal its height and the weight for example zebra 1.5 meters and these kilograms so number one the lion is lighter than the hippo so you have to read then you to state whether a statement is a true or false So then after we have to rewrite the sentence as questions. Example, the giraffe is shorter than zebra. Then we start with the auxiliary verb is. Is the giraffe shorter than the zebra? The lion is lighter than the hippo. The elephant is the heaviest of all. The hippo is taller than the elephant. The zebra is taller than the lion. The giraffe is the tallest of all. The lion is the lightest of all. The lion is the shortest of all. All. Then we have to use the, 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 those sentences to answer the following questions. Which is the tallest animal according to the height? Which is the lastest animal? Which animal is the shortest? Which, is any, which animal is the heaviest? Which animal is taller than the elephant? Then after we have to use the table in activity 4 to answer the questions. How heavy is the, is the elephant? So we have to express according to our, our table and other questions as they fold. In the last exercise, we have to punctuate the following passage and write capital letters where necessary. Sentence 1, Kilim uh, Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mount in Africa. It is 19,341 feet above the sea level. It is covered with snow at the top. It is very cold, so you should make sure you have warm clothes and enough food to eat on the way. Number five, tourists from all over the world like to climb the mountain. And we protect Mount Kilimanjaro because the government makes more money or more than 50 million US dollars from foreign tourists every year. So this is the end of our lesson. Let us meet other session. Thank you.